Whoa, look at all these gumballs. But we don't have a gumball machine for them. So we're gonna have to build our own gumball machine. This cool gumball machine has tons of cool stunts, like funnels, trampolines, dominoes, pulleys, and so much more. So what do you say we get started putting it together? First, let's open it up and see what we got to work with. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff inside. Some bags, more stuff. Hmm, maybe I should just dump it out. <laughs> yeah, that was a better idea. And now would be a good time to put our trusty scissors to work. Very carefully, of course. And this one here. I think these big long pieces are supposed to be the body of the gumball machine. I guess we'll see when we build it, won't we? And of course, now that we got all our pieces set up, it's important that we don't forget to try the gumballs first to make sure they're good. Yep, they're delicious. All right, now we just need to do a little cleaning and then get building. There we go, great job. Now let's get started. First, we need this red circular piece and that's gonna be the base of the gumball machine. So let's set that here. And then we'll attach four legs to the base to help the gumball machine get up off the ground. That's one. And here's our second one. One more makes three. And finally, the fourth leg here on the last spot here. Ah, and here's those big long blue pieces from earlier. We just slide them together like this and they will be the body of our gumball machine just like we thought earlier. Let's just make sure they're nice and secure. There we go. And then we just match the grooves up here with the ones on the base and then it'll slide right in. And here we have the dispensing mechanism of the gumball machine. Turning the knob here activates this little scooper which will grab the gumballs and send them out through the hole here at the bottom. And this little piece is gonna go right here. Now on top of this, we'll assemble our globe. Here's the bottom half or bottom hemisphere of our globe and it'll go on the dispenser. And now the top half or top hemisphere. And of course, that's gonna go on the top. Now it's looking like a real gumball machine. Lastly, we just need to add this funnel that'll guide the gumballs into the globe. And now for the best part, adding the gumballs to the gumball machine. I think we should try to fill it up all the way. They're getting there. Oh no, we clogged the funnel with gumballs. Looks like we'll need to move it if we're gonna fill it up all the way. All right, that's looking a lot better. Now, if we turn the handle of the gumball machine, gravity will pull the gumball down to earth. Now we all know about gravity, but did you know that all things have gravity? Even this gumball, even you. It's just too little to notice. But using just gravity on our gumball machine is boring. So let's try to add some other forces to see if we can have a lot more fun. The first thing we can use is a little trampoline. Its bouncy springs will collect the falling gravity energy of the gumball and then shoot it back up against the force of gravity. We just need to attach it and aim it just a bit. Next, we'll use this pendulum. And you can see that it returns to the same state even after we knock it. That's because pendulums are stable. Using this funnel, we'll get to see some centripetal force as the gumball moves around in a circular motion. And if you want to experience it yourself, just ask your parents to spin you around by the arms. Next, we'll use this declining plane or a ramp to guide the gumball down the track. And it just snaps on like the other pieces did. There we go. And here's a ramp to play with the speed of the gumballs. It has little bumps on it that cause friction that'll slow it down as it rolls across it. Did you know that friction can even cause heat? Try it, rub your hands together and see if they feel warm afterwards. And the last thing we're gonna add is a pulley, which is a mechanism that uses a wheel and a rope to change directions of force. If we pull one side down, the other one goes up. Pulleys have been around for thousands of years and have helped people build tons of cool stuff throughout history. All right guys, what do you say we try out our gumball machine? I wonder what color we're gonna get. Oh, a red one. Look, the centripetal force is spinning the gumball and down the track into the pulley. Wow, awesome. Now let's get our red gumball back and we'll try something new with it. Let's stick it over here on this part of the track. Then we can use a blue gumball with the help of the pendulum to knock it in. Thank you, pendulum. Oh, here it comes. All right, right into the pulley. All right, let's give it another try. 
Whoa, a green one. Wow, that time the pulley really worked. That was so cool. Now let's try another configuration. All right, for this build, we're gonna start with a C-shaped turn piece. And we're gonna hook it right here so it ends just under the dispenser. And next to that one, we're gonna put our friction track over here. And you can see that this part of the track has bumps that go up and down that'll change the speed of the gumballs as they go down. Next up, we have a new piece. This piece is gonna be the holder for our dominoes. We'll install it on the track first, and then we'll add the dominoes to it. One, two, three, four, five, six dominoes. Then we can add our tip over tube, which works kind of like the pendulum, except it doesn't return to a stable state after it tips over. Because of its high center of mass, when a gumball falls into it, it'll tip it over and drop it into the track below. So we'll use this piece to catch it. Here's another friction track that uses even bigger bumps to slow the gumballs even more. When they go over these bumps, we might even be able to hear them. Now let's just hook it on to make sure it's secure. All right. And just like before, we're gonna use a pulley towards the end of the track. And we're actually making two different paths for the gumballs to travel on. So for our other path, we'll use this pendulum. And to catch the gumballs from the first track, we'll use our funnel that demonstrates centripetal force. And that's gonna send our gumballs to the last piece of the track, this catch here. Let's get our track ready by adding a pink gumball to our domino track. All right, let's give it a try. Whoa, that was so cool. The dominoes knocked it into the pendulum and the pendulum dropped it into the funnel. Let's test our other track with a yellow gumball. It's working. Woohoo! Let's try another one. Wow, it's really amazing seeing all the different forces at work. You can even see the red gumball slowly loses energy as it's going around the funnel. What a lot of fun we had playing with our gumball machine and learning about physics. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. See you next time, kids.